Today we're going to learn about main idea. Main idea is an extension of what you already know about topic and key details which we learned before. Main idea will also help us understand nonfiction texts even better than we already do. Our goal today will be to learn how to use key details to identify the main idea of a text. And to do that, we're going to learn what main idea means. We're also going to learn how to use key details in order to find the main idea. Main idea is the most important thing the author wants you to know. It's the reason why the author wrote it. And it is not the same thing as topic. A topic is just one or two words about the text, whereas main idea is an entire sentence summarizing the text. So let's give it a try. Read along with me. The rain began early in the morning. It fell as hard drops, one after another. The sky was full of dark purple clouds. Thunder began as a soft rumble and became louder and louder. Lightning crashed every few minutes, making the sky a brilliant white. So, what's the main idea? It's okay if you don't know. Main idea can be a little bit tricky, and that's okay. Instead of starting off trying to find the main idea all at once, we can take baby steps to get there. One, we can find the details. We already learned how to do that. Two, we can organize the details using a graphic organizer. Three, we can look at what those details have in common. What are they saying all together? And four, we can find the main idea. Trust me, by the time we get there, it'll be easy. When I look at this text, I see information about rain, clouds, thunder, and lightning. These are our details. Remember, they're rain, clouds, thunder, and lightning. In fact, the story gives us a bit more information on each one, so we don't just want to use one word for each of our details. Instead of just writing all this information down, we can put it into a graphic organizer that will help us organize it. Let's go. The graphic organizer we're going to use is a bubble map. In this bubble map, we're going to put the main idea in the big circle in the middle, because it's the main thing we want to focus on. And then we're going to put the key details around the edge, just like we did with topic. So let's find our details. I underlined all of the information about rain. Now we need to summarize it into just a few, a short sentence that is in our own words. How about it rained hard? That summarizes both of these sentences together. See, the rain began early in the morning. It fell as hard drops one after another. Together, these sentences are really just saying that it rained hard. So let's add it to our graphic organizer. Perfect, now let's take a look at our next detail. This is the information about clouds, and now we need to summarize it so that we can add it to our graphic organizer. How about the clouds were dark purple? Let's add it to the graphic organizer. Let's move on to the next detail. This is all the information about thunder, and now we need to summarize it. Thunder began as a soft rumble and became louder and louder. We can summarize this as the thunder got louder and then add it to our graphic organizer. And now we can take a look at our last detail, the information about lightning. Lightning crashed every few minutes, making the sky a brilliant white. And now we need to summarize it. How about the lightning was bright? And now we can add it to our graphic organizer. Now that we have our graphic organizer with all of our details, we can start to think about main idea. It's important to remember that the number of details you have is based on your story. 
Different stories have different details. This story has four details. Other stories might only have two or they might even have ten. You can add or take away circles as you need them. The important thing is that you go sentence by sentence to find the number of key details in your text. Now we have to think about the main idea. What do these details say all together? It rained hard, clouds were dark purple, thunder got louder, the lightning was bright. It looks to me like they're describing a pretty strong storm. That's our main idea. How can we put that into a sentence that includes all of these details? How about the storm was very strong? That includes the fact that it rained hard, that the clouds were dark purple, that the thunder got louder, and that the lightning was bright. There are certain questions that you might see that will mean that you want to think about using a main idea graphic organizer or a bubble map. One question is, what is the main idea of the text? When you see this, they want you to look at your graphic organizer and figure out what's in the middle bubble of your bubble map. Or you might see this question, which sentence supports the main idea that, and then they'll give you the main idea. In this case, they're asking you to look at the outer circles to see which detail matches with the answer choices. You might also see this question, which detail supports the main idea of the text? This question is also asking you to look at the details or the circles around the edge of your graphic organizer. Anytime you see questions like this, you'll want to use the same approach, finding the key details and figuring out the main idea in order to answer the question. I think you're ready to find the main idea of a text on your own. Go ahead and give it a try.